Hey guys, welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. Myself, Jason, bringing you whiskey review number 48, where today we're going to review the Hakushu 12 year old. Now, I have been told it's pronounced Akshu, so you missed the little middle bit, but the way it's spelled, slightly different from the way it's pronounced. Now, I actually did pick up myself a drinks by the dram when I did all of my order for Japanese whiskey before I actually found the bottles, and then I went and found the bottles. So, we use a drinks by the dram. Now, to begin things off, it is aged at 12 years old. It has got an ABV of 43%, which I think most of the Suntory whiskies do have. And in terms of the casks, I actually couldn't find the exact casks used for this whiskey because they don't specify anything on the box. Look at that. Completely clean all over. But they have a beautiful drawing of the distillery, and I'll talk about that in a quick second. So... Um, the distillery itself is the Hakushu Distillery, or Hakushu Distillery, which is over there. It's also known as the Mountain Forest Distillery because it's just located in the middle of a forest. So beautiful and just incredible. I'll have some pictures rolling during the video. Um, you're also owned by Suntory, which also own Yamazaki, Hibiki, Cheetah, uh, I think a few other Japanese whiskies, which escaped my mind because I did remember seeing them the other day in the shop. Um, but in terms of the region, it is based in Toribara, Japan. Now, that is the area, and I was told it's pronounced Torihara. So, again, a little bit of pronunciation. And we're going to have a bit of fun right now. I'm going to try and pronounce the mountain where it's actually located. And I'm going to have it just appear on the bottom over here. Uh, as you see, it's Mount Kai Kaikoma. Mount Kakoma Gate. <laughs> I don't know. I try to go over there. If you know how to say that, let me know. But I think it's Kai Koma Gatek. Gate? Gatek? Gatek. Kai Koma Gate. So I'm going to say Mount Kakoma Gate. Hopefully that's right. Just give me that for just at least trying it because I don't think anyone has tried to say that. Now, in terms of the actual pricing point of view, God, I feel embarrassed about that. Pricing point of view, it is priced at £55 I picked up this bottle for. Um, it is currently priced at hundred, around about £100 to £110 outside in London. So when I say outside, I mean London prices. Uh, if you can find it anything cheaper than that, by all means, that is a good buy. But I'll get that to that in the end of the video. Exclusivity wise, again, yes, another Suntory whiskey that is exclusive. Um, because the 12 actually picked up, I think it was three awards in 2015 for, it won gold awards for being, you know, one of the best whiskies during 2015. And that was from the International Whiskey Spirit Show. Or International Whiskey Spirit something. So yeah, it won quite a few golds and then its price just skyrocketed and finding it was very difficult. I've only got the one bottle, which is rather sad, but I got a sample. So once I finish this, move into that. Life's good. Uh, <laughs> in terms of caramel colouring, they don't specify, again, like Suntory do. They actually don't specify. There's something on my label. But it does say, and I'm going to have it here, please enjoy Akshu responsibly. For people that drink too much, responsibly, the key word. I always love that with their whiskey. So anyway, let's next move into the actual assessment of the colour for this one. And it is a very, very light colour. Look at that. Much more lighter than Yamazaki. Uh, I'm going to go with a straw gold on this one because it does look very light in appearance. So next, let's move into the actual assessment of the nose, into the nose. So to begin the actual nose of this whiskey, it does start a really nice, soft, I'm sort of getting autumn leaves, a little bit of uh, green conference pears, a little bit of a faint, soft smoke, ever so gentle, actually more softer than I initially thought. And then I'm getting green apples right behind that. But definitely quite a light sort of grassy note as well. I'm thinking more towards honeyed barley. A bit of vanilla as well. Just sitting there right ever so softly. But not making itself ever so very well known. The grassy note's still there. And I'm going to go with sort of like dry hay. As that's what it reminds me of. And a little bit of fresh cedar wood. Slight woody note right on the end of the nose. So really interesting nose on this one. It's got quite a lot of complexity already. So anyway, let's next move into the palate. So into the palate. So into the palate for this whiskey, it's got a really nice sort of, I'd say almost a medium to full um, mouthful feel in terms of, terms of texture. Really much more different. Starts out with lots of green fruits actually. I'm getting sort of, reminds me of green pears, limes. Giving a little bit of citrusy note, refreshing actually, very refreshing. Sour green apples. 
it's quite creamy, it's quite sort of lingering all around the palate. Very mouth coating. Mild spices sort of make themselves ever so slightly known with a bit of gentle spice and a little wisp of smoke. Again, not very powerful on the nose, it's actually even just as light as it is on the palate. And then it all works its way into slightly sweeter notes of honeyed apricots and sort of a, a sort of heathery note, a floral heathery note, just sitting there as it finishes off. So really, really enjoyable palette on this whiskey. I'm going to have another sip and then we'll assess the finish. So into the finish actually. So into the finish for this whiskey it actually feels almost a little too short as it does sort of end rather quickly and much more quicker than I'd imagine or I'd like. Um, you do get a nice fruity note on this one, a little bit of more towards plums, a little bit of sort of honeyed honeyed coated tangerine zest to be more specific, more of that sort of citrusy note and then a nice waxy finish as it sort of just coats everywhere in the palate. Really, really enjoyable whiskey. So now I'm going to give my rating and what I think about the whiskey and this is actually, it's going to take a, a higher rating than you, some of you might think. Um, I tried the Yamazaki just before doing this video and this one by far is a favourite of mine now. So I'm giving it an 89 out of 100 for the Akshu 12 reason behind that, I just really love the way the flavours combine together. It's got mass complexity, that little wisp of smoke. You're getting the sort of spicy notes, a lot of green fruits, little citrusy notes. Just everything is just so present on this whiskey. The only downside I'd say is the finish, as the finish is again, I think it's too short. It just sort of, the way the palate goes and the nose just sort of, the nose does take time, but once it does open up, really so enjoyable. And the palate, really, really great. Just the finish ends way too abruptly and way too quickly and I'd have liked if that just prolonged itself a little bit further but maybe that, that happens in the 18 year old. But uh, in terms of price point of view and value for money it is around about 90 to 110 pounds which I think is rather steep but for the complexity in this whiskey I wouldn't mind stretching for that. Uh, I did spend 55 on this. If I needed to go and buy another bottle, a second bottle then I wouldn't mind stretching for that because it is something I thoroughly really enjoyed. Um, in terms of uh, would I have bought this one, personally no, I think this is just so great as it is that at 43% you don't need any water, you don't really need, I think higher ABV would be kind of interesting but 43 just works, it's wonder for it. So let me know what you guys think of the Akshu 12, um, by all means let me know also what you thought of my pronunciation down below in the comment section. If you have enjoyed the video, please do drop it a like, share it with any of your whiskey friends for Japanese whiskeys and even if they like Scotch whiskeys and American whiskeys because I'll be doing all of that coming up very soon. Um, and also tomorrow we'll have another Japanese whiskey being the Akshu Distillers Edition I believe and I'm trying to get my hands on the 18. So I'm going to wrap the video up on there. Be also sure to check out Yamazaki 12 and Distillers Edition and also I'll have the Akshu Distillers Edition just over here when I do upload that. Also be sure to click the subscribe button to stay up to date with more of my whiskey reviews. And uh, this has been Jason from Whiskey Wise and I'll catch you all for the next video.